Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor and I'm on what has become a very regular horn for me in recent times, the Staffs Worcestershire Canal. And first cast, I've just caught, not my target species, but a roach. And as you can see there, it's taken a, si it's taken a worm on a size 10 hook. Who says roach are finicky? Well, actually, they are. You're not really going to catch many fishing like this, but I'm always happy when one puts in an appearance. Not that I was complaining about the roach, of course, but this is more like it. Although it's only a small one, this is what I'm after today. Perch, my favorite species. Variety is the spice of life, as they say, and I've just caught my third species of the session, just a small one, as you can see, a chub. This is a perch, and it's a little bit bigger than the fish I've been catching so far. Don't bother recording everything, of course. I don't show every fish to the camera, especially when they're small, but this is about the biggest I've caught all evening so that gives you an idea not much of any size made the bank but as I always say very welcome indeed and I've actually got a fourth species on a bream and that's now in the net and there it is just uh, another small fish. What I do when I catch a fish like that small bream is I check whether it's actually a silver bream or a bronze bream, a skimmer as they're known when they're that size. Now the silver bream, very difficult to tell in many ways. You can count the lateral lines, which I always do if I want to check. 44, 45, 6, 47. Uh, scales along the lateral line on a silver bream. Bronze bream, much more. That one, 54. It's typical of a bronze bream. Also, the eye as well. The eye is quite big on a silver bream. And if you take the snout to the gill cover and you divide it into quarters, the eye will take up a whole quarter of that space on the head of the fish. So a quarter of the way in, you find the eye and then the remaining half will be the gill cover. So it's fascinating because I'm sure that a lot of anglers catch silver bream and pass them off as skimmers. Now this is a, a much better fish. I can't see what it is. If it's a perch, I'll be very pleased. In fact it is, but it's not as big as I thought. Still needs the net though. There you go. At least I've caught something a little bit bigger than the ones I've been banking so far. Another perch. And in between this and the last one, I actually caught a small rough as well. Fairly short footage from session one. I did other outings, of course, and some of the fish that I caught can be seen on the screen as I talk. And I know that I've got a parrot on my shoulder and talking of wildlife, this is stormy by the way, I have pet parrot, and talking of wildlife, I'm sure if you have been watching my videos in recent months, that you'll know I work for the New Saints in the Welsh Premier League. Well, who turned up at one of our games recently that I was commentating on? A football fan, I got him on the show, and of course, being a very well-known naturalist, we started talking about wildlife. And can you believe it? I found out that he's also a keen angler as well. So TNS Radio football show quickly became TNS Nature and Angling show. We had a good time, about 20 minutes or so that he was on. And of course, the photographs that you've been watching now uh, taken while we were on the balcony at Park Hall in the game in the Welsh Premier League. Now, a while back on one of my videos, I mentioned frogs, amphibians in general, 
and I said, does anyone have a pond in their backyard that they'd like to see Storm in <laughs> walking down? Does anyone have a pond in their backyard that perhaps they'd like to send me a photograph of? Well, a couple of replies that are up on the screen right now. So thanks to Jamie and Anthony for sending those in. And I also had folks say that they will start one, they will dig a pond, they will put something down. So as soon as they do that and send me photographs and I'll get those on board as well. Anyway, I like this idea of interaction. So in a future video coming up shortly, I'm going to be targeting the species that started my angling off all those years ago, back in the 1960s. I'm going for the first fish that I ever caught. I'll tell you what it is, of course, in due course. But the first 10 people who send me an email or contact me on Facebook or whatever, but the first 10 people who get in touch and tell me what their first fish was, maybe where you caught it, how big it was, perhaps you have a photo. Back in the 60s, we didn't have digital cameras. We certainly didn't take cameras with us fishing generally. Nowadays, of course, even on our phones, we can take decent photographs. So the first 10 people to get in touch, tell me what your first fish was, and I'll include that in a future video. As always, out and about yourself, tight lines, and I'll see you next week.